all right so we've got a 250sx three-wheeler uh, this thing has been in the family for years this is a 1985 model and it is a major disrepair my son has acquired this and we're going to see if we can get it running again i have i have ridden this when me and my wife was dating we've been married for 32 years while we was dating i remember uh me and her riding this together so it's got an oil leak on it and it's coming out of this bolt hole right here i'm not sure exactly what that is i think it's got something to do with where it goes this shaft goes through the rocker arms or something the uh three wheeler someone modified it and put a rack on the back and they bored holes into the fenders we're going to take the rack off because it's just kind of in the way it's not put on there correctly and we're going to try to uh, patch the fenders up and see if we can get them uh, looking better rear two tires hold air front tire is dead flat uh, of course it does not have a battery on it this one right here is a kick start so we can actually try and get it started without the electric battery on it also as you can see it does not have a fuel tank on it uh, the fuel tank that used to be on it was rusted out and leaking we replaced it with a plastic gas tank it busted and started leaking so seth has invested in a better metal fuel tank and i think he give i don't know it's 300 or 350 dollars for it it was high but it was in pretty good shape we cleaned it out de-rusted it and lo and behold it had a small pin hole in it and so i had to patch that up i welded that up and then we used the por 15 uh gas uh metal gas tank treatment and got all that sealed up so we've already done that to the gas tank and i thought this would be a good project to show on youtube so we're gonna pull this in the garage now we're gonna try to get on it see if we can get this thing running So we just now realized that this didn't come with the uh, rubber grommets that goes up inside the gas tank and that they're not on the ATV. So we'll have to get some of those. Don't pour just a ton in it. Keep going. Uh, yeah, it works. Okay. Yep, that works good. Reserve and on position. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this hose off the carburetor and I'm going to let a little fuel run through that hose because this hose has been off uh, the entire time this thing has been setting and I, I don't know what might be in that hose so i figured out real quick we're going to have to have some more holes we're going to connect this and see if we can make it work with this the hose is clean on the inside but it's, it's really really brittle so it's not going to seal off good we got a little bit of fuel leak right here we got a, a o-ring that's bad i'm going to replace all these lines but we just want to see if we can get this thing started for right now if we can do that then we can go on with the project we're gonna hook a jump box to this uh, and use the starter rather than kicking it because it's gonna be a lot of kicking, I think.
it looks like a swimming pool under the bottom of this thing where it's poured out all the gas. This thing is leaking out of every place it can leak out of. I'm gonna have to get a carburetor gasket seal kit and go plumb through the carburetor. But it literally, when I hooked the battery to it and charged it just a little bit, you just saw it. It just it fired right up. Well, now I got no power. Why have I got no power? Oh, it's something in the switch. Now I've lost power back there. Ah. I'm going to hear it start one more time before I quit on it today. Look at all that fuel under the bottom. The whole side, you can see it dripping. Everything under there is wet. I'm not going to let it run long. So I definitely don't want to start a fire, but man, this thing is running good. Fired up first file. I turned it over. Carburetor will not have to be cleaned. It does not appear, but it will have to be taken apart. So, so this is leaking. I don't know what all you can see down there, but it's dripping constantly. This thing is set for years. I don't know why it started so easy. I was fully expecting to have to clean the carburetor. Anyway, that's that's very fortunate, but now I've got to get online and try to find the carburetor to rebuild kit for this thing and get all the gaskets. Then we're going to, when another front tire looks down, we're going to at least replace the front tire and we're going to start getting it mechanically sound, all the brakes mechanically sound for this oil leak that's leaking from the other side. We're going to get it squared away. And you see all this is soaking wet from fuel. So anyway, it's running great. So we'll get the carburetor rebuild kit in. And I'll lead y'all through what I'll do with that. I'm going to order some grommets for the gas tank because the gas tank is not, not good to secure. And when we get all that through the mail, we'll come back. All right, guys, I'm on the way to town to get some fuel line for the three-wheeler, and I wanted to show you uh, this phone holder. This company has sponsored this video, and this is a very unique phone holder. Let me show you a little bit about how it works. So to get the phone in there, you just simply lay it up here, and you'll pinch these two jaws together. And I always like pinching mine in the back. That way you can get a few extra clicks in it. So your air bend is what holds the phone holder in place, and these feet on either side rest on your dash and it keeps your phone very very stable and one thing i like about it is it's got a gap right here for your phone charging cord to come out and to go down into your uh, usb port so you can charge your phone while you have it in the phone mount okay and to release this from your dash all you do is simply press this button right here and the arms will come out and you can remove your phone if you're looking for you a good phone holder for your jeep wrangler tj I suggest you check this one right here out. I'll leave a link down in the description of this video. And if you want one, you go check it out for yourself. I believe you'll love it. I love mine. I forgot how tight these three holders are. Okay, I got it loose.
it's got some crud down in there. I think that's rust from the old gas tank. That actually still looks really good. We've got new ones to put in there anyway, so I'm gonna get this carburetor cleaned up, get all this trash out of the bowl, and uh, get that new gasket on it. And I'm gonna look down in here in these jets and see exactly what we've got. Everything looked pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna get this thing cleaned. And like I say, clean this bowl out, new gaskets, and I'll put the new jets back in it, and we'll, we'll go from there. We got to get us another breather. We failed to order one of those. You can see right there that that one is in terrible need of a breather. We're gonna leave it on uh, right now because it ran fine with it and I don't want to take a chance on sucking any of this foam dust up in there. That still has the inside canister there that's gonna keep all that foam dust from getting in the engine. So we're ready to put now the uh, the gas tank back on, the breather cover back on, and we got some new fuel line. We're gonna put that on, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we got our fuel leaks stopped. 
All right, we have not cut the gas on as of re yet, so I'm going to cut it on, and we're going to see if it leaks together. It does not have to be running for it to be leaking, so. We'll come back in a few minutes, and right now I don't see any drips. The bowl should be full at this point. And so far, all looks good. We just got to see if this thing is still fire up and run. No leaks. Let's try to fire it up. Hmm. That's not good. Have I got everything plugged back in, Seth? All right, give it a little gas this time. Give it gas. fired up when that thing been sitting there for years and now we've worked on it and it won't even start it off. Reckon, I don't know how, how much fuel is in there. Guys, that's going to be a wrap on this video. Uh, I appreciate y'all stopping by and watching today. I know we didn't get a whole lot done on the three-wheeler, but it's going the right direction. And uh, let me show you what it looks like right now. So as you see, we've got all the wheels and tires off of it. Uh, we, we're going to tear it down a little bit further. You guys that work on your own thing, sometimes it's got to get worse before it can get better. And that's at the point where we're at right now. We're going to work on these rear brake hubs. We're gonna work on this uh, front brake hub. Got the wheels off, we got them sandblasted. We're gonna paint the wheels. So that's gonna be coming up in the next video. I hope y'all like this kind of content because uh, I'm wanting to uh, do some of this stuff right here as, as well as a Jeep because uh, I, I love this type of stuff. So I hope you guys support that. Anyway, uh, y'all come back next time. We'll see what we got going then. Yeah. Yeah.